Welcome to this video tutorial on creating a butterfly charging axis. In this session, we'll see what a butterfly chart is and how to create one. There are many ways to create this chart, but the method that we will see today will create a basic version with very little efforts. Butterfly charts consist of two horizontal bars with the same x-axis. The bars diverge from the center line or y-axis making it look like a wings of a butterfly. It is also called a divergent chart. It's a fantastic way to compare two sets of data and see the difference between them at a glance. Let's see this example, which compares literacy rates for male and female in India over past several decades. Now in a butterfly chart, there are horizontal bars on both sides of axis. In this data, we want to show female literacy percentage towards the left side and male literacy percentage towards the right side. Since the left side of the x-axis represents a negative value, it would be easier for us to make this chart if we can convert this female literacy percent into negative value by multiplying all the values by minus 1. Male percentage values remain as is. Now these are the values that we want to plot. So we will select this data. We'll go to insert and we'll select a 2D stat bar chart. We can increase width of these bars by changing the gap width. By changing it to 20%, this width looks good enough to me. Now the y-axis here is showing some index numbers. Instead of these index numbers, we need to show the year value. So we will right click on the chart and say select data. We'll edit this and we'll select the year values here. Now we need to get rid of this axis here because it is showing the literacy rates in negative. So we will delete this. And instead, we will show our literacy rates as data labels. So we will add data labels. Now again, the data labels here are negative. We can't have literacy rate in negative. So we will select these data labels. And we'll change them. We will select value from cells and we'll select the actual percentage literacy rate to show here. And we will uncheck this value so that the earlier negative values are removed. Now we have the correct data that is showing here. Next, we see this here on the y axis is overlapping with our data values. What we could do is we could move it either towards the left side or the right side of the chart. I will select this axis and I'll go to format and I'll go to labels. Now for label positions, we will select low to move these labels towards the left hand side. We can choose a slightly milder colors. So we'll select these bars for my data series. And for the color, we will select the lighter version. Similarly, for these blue bars, we'll select a lighter shade of blue. We can remove the grid lines. So our basic version of the butterfly chart showing the literacy rate for males and females is ready. There are many other ways to create a butterfly chart, but that is for future. This is all for today. Thank you.